Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We all want to live long, healthy lives, and a big part of that is taking care of our organs, especially the liver. It's the workhorse of our body, filtering toxins, producing essential proteins, and helping with digestion. But did you know that some everyday medications can actually put a strain on your liver? That's right, even common over-the-counter drugs can sometimes have unintended consequences. We're not here to scare you, but to empower you with knowledge. Today, we're diving into 10 common medications that could be harming your liver and the signs to watch out for. Remember, it's crucial to be aware of potential side effects so you can stay ahead of the game and prioritize your health. We'll break down each medication, explain how it can affect your liver, and highlight the warning signs you should never ignore. It's all about being proactive and informed, so let's get started. Acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol, is a go-to for headaches, fever, and muscle aches. It's generally safe when taken as directed, but exceeding the recommended dose can spell trouble for your liver. Remember, it's the total amount you take in a day, not just the number of pills. Overdosing on acetaminophen can lead to severe liver damage, even liver failure. The scary part is, you might not notice any symptoms until it's too late. That's why it's crucial to stick to the recommended dosage and avoid combining it with alcohol, which puts extra stress on your liver. So, what are the red flags? Watch out for jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes, abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. These could be signs of liver damage, so if you experience them, especially after taking acetaminophen, seek medical attention immediately. Amoxicillin clavulinate is a powerful antibiotic used to fight a wide range of bacterial infections. While it's highly effective, it can also cause hepatotoxicity, meaning it can damage your liver. This is relatively uncommon, but it's still important to be aware of the potential risks. How does it affect your liver? Amoxicillin clavulinate can interfere with the liver's ability to process bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of red blood cells. This can lead to jaundice a condition we discussed earlier. Other signs to watch out for include fatigue, nausea, loss of appetite, and dark urine. If you experience any of these symptoms while taking amoxicillin clavulinate, contact your doctor immediately. Methotrexate is a powerful drug used to treat various conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and even some cancers. While it can be a lifesaver, it also carries the risk of liver damage, particularly when used long-term. One of the main concerns with methotrexate is its potential to cause liver fibrosis, a condition where scar tissue builds up in the liver. Over time, this can progress to cirrhosis, a serious and irreversible form of liver damage. Symptoms of methotrexate-induced liver damage can be subtle at first. You might experience loss of appetite, fatigue, easy bruising, and abdominal discomfort. Regular liver function tests are crucial for those taking methotrexate to catch any problems early on. Isoniazid is a cornerstone of tuberculosis treatment. It's a highly effective antibiotic, but it can come with a price potential liver inflammation. This is more common in older adults and those who consume alcohol regularly. So, how does isoniazid affect your liver? Well, it can interfere with the liver's ability to process toxins, leading to inflammation and damage. This is often dose-dependent, meaning higher doses carry a greater risk. Symptoms of liver inflammation caused by isoniazid can include fatigue, jaundice, dark urine, pale stools, and loss of appetite. If you're on isoniazid, regular liver function tests are vital to monitor your liver health. Azithromycin, commonly known as the z pack is a popular antibiotic used to treat various bacterial infections. While generally safe, it can, in rare cases, cause liver toxicity. This is more likely to occur in people with pre-existing liver conditions. Now, how does azithromycin affect your liver? It can interfere with the liver's normal function, leading to inflammation and damage. The good news is, this type of liver toxicity is usually reversible once the medication is stopped. Symptoms of azithromycin-induced liver toxicity can include yellowing of the skin or eyes, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. If you experience any of these symptoms while on azithromycin, contact your doctor immediately. Statins are widely prescribed to lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. They're generally safe and effective, but they can occasionally lead to liver enzyme abnormalities. 
This doesn't always mean there's liver damage, but it certainly warrants monitoring. How do statins affect your liver? They can interfere with the production of certain liver enzymes, which are essential for normal liver function. This can lead to elevated liver enzyme levels in the blood, a sign that your liver might be under stress. Symptoms of statin-induced liver problems can be subtle, including fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, and a swollen abdomen. Regular liver function tests are crucial for those taking statins to ensure their liver is functioning properly. Naproxen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, commonly known as an NSAID, used to relieve pain and reduce inflammation. While it's widely available over the counter, it carries a small risk of liver damage, especially when used long-term or in high doses. So, how does naproxen affect your liver? Well, it can interfere with the liver's normal function, leading to inflammation and damage. This is more likely to occur in people with pre-existing liver conditions or those who consume alcohol regularly. Symptoms of naproxen-induced liver damage can include fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, itching, and yellowing of the skin. If you experience any of these symptoms while taking naproxen, contact your doctor immediately. Ketoconazole is an antifungal medication used to treat various fungal infections. While effective, it can also lead to liver injury, especially in higher doses or with prolonged use. This is due to its potential to interfere with the liver's normal metabolic processes. How does ketoconazole affect your liver? It can damage liver cells, leading to inflammation and impaired function. This can result in elevated liver enzyme levels in the blood, a sign that your liver is struggling. Symptoms of ketoconazole-induced liver injury can include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, fatigue, and jaundice. If you experience any of these symptoms while on ketoconazole, contact your doctor immediately. Valproic acid is an anticonvulsant medication used to treat seizures and bipolar disorder. While it can be life-changing for those with these conditions, it also carries a risk of liver failure, especially in children under two years old. How does valproic acid affect your liver? It can interfere with the liver's ability to break down fats, leading to a buildup of ammonia in the blood. This can be toxic to the brain and liver, potentially leading to liver failure. Symptoms of valproic acid-induced liver problems can include lethargy, vomiting, loss of appetite, fluid buildup in the abdomen, and jaundice. Regular liver function tests are crucial for those taking valproic acid to monitor their liver health. Anabolic steroids are synthetic hormones that mimic the effects of testosterone. They're sometimes misused to enhance athletic performance or build muscle mass. However, they carry serious health risks, including liver damage. How do anabolic steroids affect your liver? They can disrupt the liver's normal function, leading to inflammation, damage, and even tumors. This is more likely to occur with long-term use or high doses. Symptoms of anabolic steroid-induced liver damage can include jaundice, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, fatigue, mood swings, and dark urine. It's crucial to avoid using anabolic steroids without medical supervision, as the risks far outweigh any potential benefits. Thank you for joining me on this journey. We've covered a lot of ground today, and I hope you found it informative and empowering. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Hit the bell for more health and wellness inspiration. It's important to remember that this video is for informational purposes only and not intended as medical advice. Always consult with your doctor or a qualified healthcare professional before making any decisions about your health or treatment. They can provide personalized guidance based on your individual needs and medical history. Until next time, stay healthy and happy.